Anti-Semitism is a real thing, a vile, pernicious, potentially fatal poison, which caused the annihilation of millions of Jewish people in Europe in the 1930s and 1940s. And but for the Red Army and the other allies, it might well have been that every single last Jewish person in Europe, perhaps beyond Europe, would have been literally wiped off the face of the earth. So it's a very serious business dealing with anti-Semitism. The weaponization of anti-Semitism against people not in the least guilty of it is equally a serious matter. The danger is if you're calling everyone anti-Semitic, the whole Labour Party, the whole Labour movement, the whole Corbyn movement, then the real anti-Semites can go about their evil, potentially fatal business unnoticed. So the boy who cried wolf is a useful parable. And we are so far down the rabbit hole now of the weaponization of anti-Semitism as a political issue that it has become not just unjust, not just immoral, but positively dangerous and dangerous to Jewish people themselves. The idea that Jeremy Corbyn, whom I have known since the 1970s, is an anti-Semite is as absurd as it is offensive. Chris Williamson, too, the Labour MP, once again suspended for anti-Semitism when not a scintilla of anti-Semitism or any other form of racism is present in his mind, in his soul. These are dangerous, reckless, irresponsible allegations. These people with their record collections full of Bob Dylan, their bookshelves filled with Noam Chomsky and Karl Marx and Professor Norman Finkelstein. Mind you, we're so far down the rabbit hole that both Professor Finkelstein and Noam Chomsky have also themselves been accused of anti-Semitism. This is a trick that we play said Shulamit Aloni, a former Israeli minister, to me over dinner in her house in Tel Aviv more than 30 years ago. She repeated it on television. You can Google it and find it. This is a trick we play, she said. The smearing of supporters of Palestinian rights, the smearing of opponents of Israeli policies and practices as anti-Semitism is a weapon of war. It's a mechanized, industrialized weapon of war. And it's time to say this far and no further. Not least because coming along soon is the presidential run of Senator Bernie Sanders. Like Chomsky and Finkelstein, himself Jewish, but under accusation of anti-Semitism. I shouldn't need to be saying this. But the idea that Senator Bernie Sanders is an anti-Semite is itself foul and poisonous. I have no doubt that if Bernie Sanders is the Democratic nominee for president in 2020, that the Corbyn treatment will be afforded to him with knobs on it. Because, of course, being the president of the United States is the most powerful elected office on the planet. So I'm saying we need to make a very careful, studied dichotomy between anti Semitism and criticism of Israel, support for the Palestinian people. Corbyn Williamson, not guilty of the first, guilty of the second. Sanders, not guilty of the first absolutely guilty of the second. We oppose Netanyahu. We love Jews. That's the message.